So hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is today's message. So today I'm using my Goddess Guidance deck. Look for one message as a piece of information, a bit of guidance for us. Today is Tuesday the 10th of November. However, please remember it's a timeless reading, so as and when you come across it, that is when you are meant to see it. If it doesn't resonate, then please move forward respectfully to the next reader who may have a message for you at this time. If it is resonating with you and you feel called to, please drop me a like, drop me a comment, or click on that subscribe button if you haven't done so before. Let's jump in, shall we, and have a look. Dear angels, please reveal to me the messages which we need to receive. Which message, above all messages, is in the highest good for the collective to receive today? Which one message, above all messages, is in the highest good for the collective to receive? Okay. So one message, above all messages. There we go. We did have one flip over. Let's have a quick look what that is. We have a mate, fairness. She's all about justice. It says this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So that's just a little sideline message for those that need to see it. The main message we have is Hathor. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy and ability to give to others. Now, um, this did actually come out as the main energy surrounding the Day of the Goddess reading, which I did Sunday. OK, so this is an energy that is being picked up on a lot at this time. Um, it's a card that is jumping out quite frequently, not necessarily this card in particular, but from the other cards that I use. It's all about being open to receive, setting your intention and being open to the universe to actually return it to you, to ask for those things that you are wanting and being ready to actually receive them. Stop shutting yourself off and stopping yourself from receiving that which is meant to be coming to you. OK, so I will go into the book. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have... Hold it there. We have Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy and ability to give to others. You have a maternal side to you that naturally cares for those in need. Yet this must be balanced with receptivity or the flow is blocked. Receiving is the essence of feminine energy and it means allowing yourself to receive with grace and gratitude. If you feel guilty when asking others for help, or if you feel bad about receiving gifts, then you block your feminine energy. Your receptivity is just as natural as your nurturing, giving energy. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. When you receive, you have more resources to give to others. Begin by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day, whether it's seeing beauty in nature witnessing a touching human moment or being hugged by a loved one simply say thank you for each gift and know that they're filling up your storehouse keeping the divine flow going strong the various meanings of this card are be still and listen release guilt about receiving ask for help increase psychic awareness know that you're in a learning cycle healing is occurring be more in your feminine energy child conception pregnancy or birth including adoption or favorable custody arrangements are issues in your life about hathor this beloved egyptian goddess is represented by the head of a cow to symbolize the sacred animals life giving milk and mothering hathor is a a benevolent sky and sun goddess who helps in all aspects of child conception, birthing and raising. Call upon Hathor to guide you in nurturing yourself and your loved ones. OK, so it's a very mothering energy, a very strong um, giving to others, but also about being open to receiving. I think it was 
within the the, um, the day of the goddess reading, I was talking about how very often we are very giving and we'll give and give and give to others but we don't give to ourselves we don't open ourselves up and allow ourselves to receive things in return and what i'm saying here is very much about the fact that when you are successful when you have got more you have more to share with others it's like if you are sitting there thinking that if you have a certain thing in your life you're taking away from someone else that's not the case what is actually happening is you are being given more so that you in return can give more you are receiving in order to give when you succeed others around you succeed they benefit too so this is about just being open letting in what needs to come in for some of you this is a card about the mother inside about the birthing pregnancy um etc adoption custody battles take it as it resonates um if you are not wanting children if you are not in that stage or in a relationship or where, wherever you are in your life and you don't want a child coming into your life this is a good time to be taking extra precautions abstaining if you can because it is a very fertile time very um very likely you may end up with something more than what you was expecting okay so this is your card for today. I hope it's helped you. I hope it's given you some guidance. Um, be open to receive because ultimately when you receive, others benefit too. So that's your message. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.